It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. That's probably why. Bird leg cabin. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. here for a moment the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned damn I needed to get the power running in the cabin there had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island the cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. The power cable goes to that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. If I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days, it was no longer open to the public. Seems like a nice place. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark.
The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice. You... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. So Maybe... now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I that don't, woman. just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? Alice! Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> 